Can I apply to PhD degree right after graduating from bachelor degree? Absolutely yes, but how? In this video you will know how to do it. Watch this video carefully and get to know what is the procedure of doing it. Hello and welcome back to my channel again. Now I'm gonna make a brand new video for you how to apply to PhD degree right after graduating from bachelor degree and skipping master degree. You don't need to waste your time uh, with doing two or three years master degree then applying for PhD degree but in this video you will know how to apply directly to PhD degree. If you are in my channel and you don't know what is this channel for, basically I'm making videos for academic purposes and integrating abroad plans. Make sure hit the button below, subscribe this channel and also give me a thumbs up for helping me to grow with you together. Recently I was evaluating the channel analytics. Unfortunately, I've found most of you are not subscribing the channel, just watching these videos. Please subscribe this channel and help me to grow with you. Let's start today's topic. I will discuss in this video about applying to a PhD degree directly from your bachelor degree. What you need to know, of course, there are some certain categories, criteria you have to follow, then easily you can apply and get your PhD degree soon. We always heard that if you want to apply this program directly or straight PhD program, we need to have high qualifications and high academic scores. Yes, this is true. But what is the scenario behind of this topic? Let me explain. First, overall, your academic scores and experiences. It can be academic experience or practical experience. What do I mean? Test scores of your language level. It can be IELTS, TOEFL, GRA, GMAT, some technical field score you need to show to the admission officers. The next one is letter of recommendation. 100% I can say that this is the most required document for you and uh, it will help you to get more chance on your application process. Basically, they are asking two, but uh, some of them asking three letter of recommendation. But how you can get the letter of recommendation? Sometimes they're asking two academic and one professional. What is the professional letter of recommendation means? During your bachelor degree, you work somewhere else out of the academia and you gain some experience from your manager or uh, section leader, someone you worked for, you can get letter of recommendation from the person or academic letter of recommendations, which should be directly from your professor who taught you at least one or two courses within three, four years of your bachelor degree. This is important. You don't need to ask from someone else who didn't even teach you anything during your bachelor degree and they don't know you, but you are asking from that person because it is easy to get this letter from that person, but don't do it. Another one is statement of purpose or in another word, research proposal letter. This is the formal letter. You have to clearly mention everything what you want to do during your PhD research program. Resume or CV. You need to prepare it immaculately. Don't make a mistake and write everything clearly on this paper. Another important factor of your evaluation is research publication or scientific publication, which you attended any conferences or your articles published in any journals. This will really help you. And the last one, interview. Interview is also most important part of your admission process because uh, your potential supervisor or anyone from the faculty will interview you at least to get to know who are you, what is your goal for achieving in this degree or what do you want to do research because on your research proposal letter you wrote formally but it is good to hear directly from you. This is the overall process of your uh, direct PhD programs but what is the key factors for applying to this program? I will tell you everything step by step and it will help you to figure out how to apply for these programs. On the application of the university, you will find something written uh, straight PhD, direct PhD program or transfer to PhD programs. Even you will see there is PhD to master degree programs. Don't get confused because each of them is different 
program, you have to know which one you are applying for. But in this video, I'm talking only about direct or straight PhD program from your bachelor degree. Direct PhD programs can be divided two parts. One is just simple direct PhD program and another one is combined master degree and PhD degree. This is completely different. You have to know which one is interesting to you, then you can apply easily. Like combined uh, PhD program is within five or seven years, you will study, you will take some more courses and it will be mainly course based and last two or three years you will do research and this is called combined PhD and master degree program but why it is divided two parts I will tell you in the next stage okay the third section of this video when you are searching their website you will see there are some fields not offering even master degree why because some fields doesn't require you course based something course based degree they need only to focus the research programs which one for example political science or social science sociology or different related fields of these programs they are not even offering you master degree programs if you see don't get confused okay the fourth stage of this video i would say this is basically for american education style why there is candidacy exam in another word after several years or several courses your progress will be evaluated by the PhD committee or faculty committee because they need to know are you able to handle this PhD degree or you need to stop and transfer it to master degree. It's also possible from PhD you can transfer it to master degree because your capability is not enough for getting this degree successfully and the university committee members will see that and they will offer you instead of quitting this degree you can apply uh, for master degree programs and continue it successfully or in your past if you passed all exams for combined PhD degree which uh, divided for the master degree programs and you finished it continued to PhD degree but they evaluated your progress and they saw that no you are not able to continue with the PhD degree it is also possible you can stop with your master degree or if you have any uh, holding courses you can finish then get your master degree they are offering for you to make something easier instead of being uh, without diploma and graduating from the university they will offer you to take your degree with uh, less level and get your diploma successfully the fifth one take a look of syllabus why I always mention this because syllabus is really important for your academic success why in American education system or job applications let's say you are engineering graduate student and you want to apply for a job out of academia then you will need to meet their requirements their criteria for example electrical engineering courses you finished and you want to apply for electrical engineering but in different sphere and that's why they will evaluate your all syllables all transcripts all your diploma mentioned courses then they will say that okay you are eligible for handling this job or no even in your study years you didn't have two or three courses in your syllabus in your transcript you will need to take some more courses for getting this job and that's why it is important to take a look for applying to your degree syllabus is important okay but generally if you studied in economics finance degree or business administration this kind of degree fields you finished and you want to apply or PhD degree right after from your bachelor degree what you need to know in this section I will do as much as I can for different fields to give you some examples okay first one is as I mentioned for this kind of fields what you need to know you have to find a related fields for your PhD degree quantitative finance degree or data analysis it is related to your bachelor degree yes because bachelor degree mainly is the foundation of your future career and the master degree is preparing you 
for research-based programs. In your master's degree, you will now the kind of expanded version of your bachelor degree courses, but you will be fulfilled after finishing your master's degree. And that's why if you are skipping this master's degree and applying directly to PhD degree, you will need some ability to do research and to handle this degree completely and with your passion you have to completely broaden your knowledge take into consideration if you want to apply for this kind of field you need to know what you have to do GMAT scores is required from certain fields but not all of them because i'm an engineering student and i don't need to take a gmat exam but if you are for this kind of fields you need to sit on the gmat exam gra scores this is the american university's style for asking you the gra scores but in europe it's not most requested um, certificate from you okay how about engineering fields studies for direct phd programs you will also have opportunity to apply for this program in general what you need to do high gpa what i mean high gpa a or at least minus a level of your gpa will help you to apply for this program and also your uh, research your at least two years experience in these fields it can be academia or out of campus in any industry but in canada or australia in the us you can have opportunity for applying to these programs with your engineering fields but i can tell you that mostly they are requiring minimum one year field experience if it is two years it is really good for you you can apply you can get more chance but again the experience is really important for your engineering fields why engineering fields because in the political science or sociology fields you don't need to do anything uh, by hand or physical jobs you need only to attend the conferences or they write some articles in that case it is really equal to your research fields research experience and that's why for engineering fields it is really mandatory to have this experience and frequently asked question for engineering field students do i need to have gra scores this is optional but it also depends on where you are applying to because in the US most universities are asking GRA score from engineering candidates but in Canada it is not very popular for asking GRA scores in contrary of the US education system and that's why you have to choose which fields and which university which country you are applying to if you have any question just comment below I will answer I will reply all your questions and again don't forget to hit that button below subscribe this channel and also give me a thumbs up for helping me to grow with you together and also fighting with youtube algorithm that's all from me today and see you in next video good luck on your application bye bye